Hi guys! Uh, you'll have to excuse how I look right now. I haven't really done anything. I just threw on this shirt and this coon skin cap for like no particular reason. But I wanted to make a video for you guys and I don't have any makeup on. I just couldn't be bothered. Because I'm going to a Childish Gambino concert tonight and I'd rather just do my makeup for that than have to like do it again. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing something that I've never done before at all. It's it's like a shoe unboxing slash review slash um, just my kind of opinion. And they're on my Unif, Unif, whatever, Hellraisers, which I've had for, what's today, the 7th? I don't know. Like three, three weeks, three, four weeks. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. So they came in like the, this box, obviously, and then another box and blah, blah, blah. And then when you open the box, they're in little sleeves. And then they come like they came with like paper stuffed in them and like these little things just to help them like keep their shape or whatever. But I don't keep those in there. I just keep them in their little dust jackets. So this is what they look like. I got black and silver. Um, I guess first I just want to say that they're great and they're super comfortable. They're a really soft leather on the outside and then kind of like a regular leather on the inside. And they're just perfect for anything. I would literally wear these anywhere. Um, not, okay, not literally. I wouldn't wear them to, like, a wedding, but I wear these, like, almost every day, and, um, these are just, like, my favorite shoes. So I get constant compliments on these. Every day I wear these, which is pretty much every day, I get compliments on them. People are like, oh my god, your shoes, they're so sick. Where'd you get them? Blah, blah, blah. I got these from Dolls Kill. And um, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with them later. They are, I want to say, $170 on Dolls Kill or somewhere in that ballpark, like $168 or something. And then if you put in the coupon code, coupon code Shotty's Cult, uh, I'll put it in the description. I don't feel like spelling it out right now, but Shotty's Cult. And then it brings them down to like 154 I think, which is um, really nice because anything you can save is great, especially just with stuff like this because like they are really pricey, but they are worth it. I will say that. Um, I do keep them in these dust jackets when I put them up and I put them back in the box. And um, I don't think I would have done that had I not watched like... Uh, some of Bunny's videos, Graveyard Girl. If you don't watch her, you should, because she's amazing. Um, I don't know why you would come across my videos and not hers, but she's great. Um, I got these in a size eight, um, and I norm because they don't do half sizes. Okay, let me just say that right now. They do not do half sizes. You should know this if you've ever looked for them. They do not do half sizes, and I wear an eight and a half. And upon the suggestion of Graveyard Girl, I got them in an 8, which um, when I first bought them was highly uncomfortable. They were really kind of almost, I would almost say too snug. Um, they, like my feet, like would, there would be like a suction vacuum type thing that would happen between like the curve of the in the curve or the instep or whatever of my foot and then this and but I would wear them anyway because I just I was not about to return these they took a really long time to get here but yeah it just was not the most comfortable thing so bunny says you should size down for um, various reasons being that they're leather so they do give which they have get given or gave in the few weeks that I've had them um, they're, the, the 
all the spikes do make them a little bit of a weightier shoe so if they are if they were too loose they would kind of be like falling off you all the time and um that they're a unisex shoe so they might run a little bit big anyways because they're technically a man could wear these too but I wish I had got a nine um but it's too late now because I've worn them to like shit but not really because they would stand up really well but I can't return them oh I've kind of like ruined the bottom which I just now noticed which sucks but it's not a big deal nobody really looks at that um anyway I wish I would have gotten a nine because that just would have been more comfortable for me and I do wear nines sometimes like in um sandals and like heels and stuff I'll go for a nine so if that's how you are if you're a half size but you go for the bigger size in certain shoes I would suggest my dog is, he wants attention I would suggest getting um the size up if you do if you're on the smaller side of your half size and you can size down in other shoes, I would size down. But um, a fix that I have um, sort of found that works very well um, are just these little booty socks. Um, I don't know why they're not booty socks. I don't know where that came from at all. Um, but like they're meant to be worn with flats and they're kind of they're like the um fabric of tights so I guess they're kind of like nylon so they are slick and it just really works really well for these it gets rid of that suctiony thing um that suctiony kind of like feeling that I was talking about and it kind of gives me just a little bit more room to like kind of like just for my foot to kind of move around in the shoe as I walk and but yeah these socks are brilliant invest in these socks I would invest in these socks for your Hellraisers anyway because I for one do not um recommend wearing shoes like this or tennis shoes or anything without socks um flats obviously is like a different thing but the I would not consider these flats um even though they are flat, I would not consider them flats, like flat pumps. Um, they're loafers, so I would recommend getting the socks anyway. And let's see, what else is on my list of things? <laughs> Let me talk. Oh, I said that they go with everything, which is um, obvious and easy to tell. Especially because I got mine in black. However, I do think that the cheetah print ones would go with just about anything. The pink ones, not so much. Um, just because, like, if you wear different colors, like, blues or browns or, like, reds, I don't really think would go that well with the pink ones. But they also have red ones and white ones and I've seen some mint ones on like Instagram and stuff but I haven't really seen them on the UNIF website or on Dolls Kill or Soul Struck so I don't know you might have to look really hard for those I'm not sure um something that I know other people have said before is that they are really sharp um like this is painful right now like, you know, like, when you get that itchy spot, not down there, no, sorry, <laughs> when you get that kind of, like, itchy spot on your leg and then you scratch it with your foot, that hurts in these. I would just be careful. Um, I have, luckily, I have not had any of my spikes fall off. Um, they do feel loose, but I would not, do not, like, freak out about that because that allows them to be worn on a foot that moves because if they were like stiff in here then you might have an issue and they would probably be more prone to popping off and okay so now I'm going to talk a little bit about my dolls kill experience um 
I put in my order for these in April, I want to say, late April, like April 20th, around that time. And at the time, they were on pre-sale, pre-order, so um, they weren't, I don't, I don't even remember, they weren't supposed to ship out until like May 4th because they were waiting for, Dolls Kill was waiting for them to come from um, Unif so they could send them out. And like, I guess it was just an estimate, but I, I'm really adamant about those types of things or I don't really know if adamant's the word, but like I'm really serious about that kind of, this kind of stuff, like ordering stuff in the mail. Um, I'm an OCD checker, so like multiple times a day I will check on like um, tracking, you know, like tracking shipments and stuff. May 4th or whatever rolls around and I haven't heard anything from them about them shipping out, but they did send me an email. Um, Dolls Kill is really good about that, they're really good with customer service. They sent me an email that was just sort of saying, basically just that they were running a little bit late, they were still waiting on UNIF, um, and so to expect them to ship out a little bit later. And they gave me like a precise date, or like a precise week or something, and I was like, okay, awesome, great, and OCD checking, I'm still checking, making sure that they're in transit or something, but I kept checking for like a week or two for these, um, for, I, mm, I kept checking the website, the, yo, the I guess they came by USPS, um, it was only saying the, that the electronic info for the package had been received at USPS, and so that they hadn't received any sort of like tangible box of shoes, which was freaking me out, and I sent an email to Dolls Kill, and they said um, that that was really weird, that they should have shipped out last week, and that they would be there as soon as possible. And by the time that it actually said shipped, and like they like USPS had received this, it took two to three days, and they were there uh, right as rain. So, um, I guess. What I would say is if you are really, if you really, really want something and like you're really excited about it, um, wait until the store gets them in before you order them because pre-order um, might make you anxious like me. Um, it freaked me out a lot um, waiting for these but it really was worth it when they came. Like I said, I've been wearing them almost every day. Or just be prepared for like slip ups and sort of like things, especially with Hellraisers, which are so popular. Um, just kind of like be weary of pre-ordering really popular items. Typically, pre stuff that's on pre-order is really popular anyway because that means it's sold out already and they're waiting for more kind of like be be prepared for like the wait um if you're ordering from somewhere like dolls killer soul struck like i would say do not worry about not receiving your stuff because you will get it they're really good about that um i am in no way i don't think it's anybody's fault that they took that there was so much confusion with this because i know how like wanted unif hellraisers are i already want another pair um but that's going to have to wait because that's 150 dollars and i have a lot of shoes my mom is very um aware of how many shoes i have so uh I guess that's really all that I have to say about my beautiful, lovely, black Unif Hellraisers that I love so much. Um, so this is kind of like just an extra little thing that I I know I think about a lot when um, with the way I feel about like fashion and how I dress and stuff is how they work on um, 
black people so if you're white you don't have to continue watching but um <laughs> they do look good on darker complected people um because i was worried because i it's hard i couldn't find like any pictures of um a black person with these on and like sometimes colors i mean obviously black would work but sometimes like colors and styles and stuff don't really work very well with um darker skin tones so i was pleased to find out that they are wonderful if you are like me and are worried about that kind of stuff these totally work um if you are black and see look real nice i don't think i'm gonna put them on and walk around because i'm in my house and i think that would be kind of weird um trying to get a good angle because i'm filming on my computer but that's pretty much it all right i love you guys bye stay hip